Welcome to the beautiful Styrian Mountains for another chapter in the story of the Austrian Grand Prix. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's begin by talking about Antonio Giovinazzi. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromised start. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Vettel, Lando Norris, Iceman, Leclerc, Perez, Stroll and Daniel Ricciardo, Albon. Ocon, Kevin Magnussen, and Gasly, Kvyat, Raikkonen, Roman Grosjean, and George Russell, Latifi, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Now, now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. So it's our first season. We are at the Red Bull Grand Prix at, in Austria. Uh, as you can see, we qualified sixth uh, at 106.1, I believe, or 106.1, where we were like a hundredth of a second off from our teammate Lando. Now, I know I could have ran a little bit better. We screwed up the last couple corners, uh, so I think we can get down into, into 105s, no problems. So that should probably put us on podium, hopefully, this time. But, you know, without further ado, let's have a look at our strategy. We are doing 50 on softs, 21 on mediums. That should be fine. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to do hards on this track, I don't think. So, you know, let's further ado. Let's jump right in. So, let's get a good, clean start here. Use our overtake. Get a bit closer. Got to watch our front lift there. Could have gone a little bit faster through that corner. This, this will be good. Go on the outside of our teammate. I think the AI does takes 8th gear through here, which I can't do, I don't think I have enough grip for that. A little bit wide there. To avoid metal there a little bit. Land up there a little bit. I know I can turn it earlier there for sure. Got to use the whole track here. DRS 
DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Vettel's really falling behind. Doesn't have DRS this time. there wasn't a yellow flag in the first place. Okay, you're creating some breathing space between you and the car behind by a few seconds per lap. It looks like the problem is terminal. They're retiring the car. Oh, pure gas is out. Fuel target is plus one. Faster engine modes are available. Some information on Gasly. Turn on the arrest there. Got a better exit than Verstappen, I think, by a little bit. Losing a lot of is losing a lot of time, which is kind of surprising. He's usually pretty good around this track. That works, that move on the outside, it works out perfectly. Pretty much going out full out attack here. seconds. Ooh, clipped on there a little bit.
All right, pitting time. What do we have? We have engine issues. Uh, ooh, our CE, our main component, exit now. You'll be racing is having issues. Exit, exit now. Okay, either way, we're doing pretty good. We have our staff runner behind us. The Hamilton's spinning as well. Bottas kept going. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Alright, let's see what we can do here. That was our last stop. We don't really need to worry about Albon because he's never going to get podium anyway. So, all good. Lance Stroll is getting better though. He's going to the pits. Well, this is just coming out of the pits. Oh yeah, I got the wrong name here. See if we can get down to 107s here. Final lap, push as hard as we can. We use all of our overtake, use all of our gas, all of, us, all of our fuel. That was a really bad corner, but maybe overtake will save us there. Green, not purple though. Ooh, 107.9. Yes. Absolutely awesome. Just amazing. Oh, man. Well done. And first place. That is how we do it. That is how we do it, boys. Yes. Driver of the day as well. Oh, yeah. We pushed. We pushed as hard as we could there. Oh, man. It was a tough race at times, but they've held on to take a great victory for McLaren. McLaren today. will be happy with us. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Right before well, our contract expires. Victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Sebastian Vettel, 10th. Ferrari's not having a good our season. drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations. And it's yeah, going yeah. to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. That's how we do it. Congratulations to Another the one team on the list. Fantastic performance. There we go. At another first place. I think that is our third Let's one. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Let's focus on yeah, the Yeah, Lewis has dropped Davidson. down by a bit. Pick? I have to give it to Iceman. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt so maximized their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll All see right, you for the next one. We're third. Oh, we got past. I guess we got past Verstappen. I think a couple of races ago, our last race. Not too bad. Lando's moving up as well. That's good to see. Lewis and Valtteri up there. It'll be nice if we can split the gap. That'd be awesome. Uh, constructors, we are up there, second place still. Quite. A bit of away from uh, Ferrari's quite a bit away from us, which is good. Red Bull's fourth, Mercedes is still leading. So let's see, let's see what the interviews have to do. And let's, I wonder if we're getting a contract renewal here or not. What's gonna happen? Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Arrows are actually pretty good. Uh, foot to the floor, probably gonna take it, use the card nimbleness to my advantage. Arrow. Absolutely. 
You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. I can use this without a great team behind me. I'm thrilled with the support during the race. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What do you think made the difference between this weekend and last weekend? Uh, all the efforts team has with the power unit. Uh, power. We did. I know we had a power upgrade. There so. was some contact between you two. What happened out there? We're both great drivers at the top of our game. Sometimes kind of isn't inevitable yet. If they're going and they might get hurt. This isn't a video game. <laughs> uh, yeah, this isn't a video game, Max. You need to look where you're going. Great. Well, that's everything. All right. What do we have here? Plus five, plus three, Max Verstappen. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Are we getting contract renewal right now or is it going to be for next weekend? The contract renewal window has opened. Ooh. We can try and renegotiate for a better deal with our current team or approach someone else. Ooh, should we approach other teams, you know, or renegotiate? I think we should renegotiate. We do like McLaren. Let's do it. Let's renegotiate our terms. Here you can make salary demands to the team. Any extra over your base salary will go into your perk fund. The more you demand, the lower the chances of our success. Do make sure that you don't go demanding anything unrealistic for your acclaim level. If you do, the team might refuse to negotiate any more with you in this negotiation period. Ooh. Ah, uh, okay. High risk. Come on, you know we gotta go 3.37 mil. We've been we've been performing really really well. Or we should we do 3.17? No, 3.37. Let's go. Ooh, sign. Absolutely, this is how we do it. For 147 days. Well, with that, I think we should. And the episode we'll we'll run through all the stuff uh, off camera, but that was a great race. Thanks everybody for checking out this video, and we'll see you guys at the, during the next episode. Take it easy.